Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the Wine Hotel in Visalia, where an emergency tree nut theft summit was held by the American Pistachio Growers and Western Ag Processors Associations. The industry is currently in a state of emergency as many truckloads of almonds, pistachios, cashews, walnuts are disappearing due to fraudulent activity. Today, Matt Calkins, a detective from Butte County, discussed what's going on and how to avoid this fraudulent information and preserve our valuable commodities. I kind of want to go over how these types of thefts work uh, first. Uh, it's going to be difficult to prevent something if you don't know how it works. I want to talk about fictitious pickup uh, cargo theft. Uh, fictitious pickup is a, is a type of cargo theft essentially where a, uh, the thieves steal a, the identity of a legitimate trucking company uh, through different means, but generally they get the information online which is publicly available. Um, using this information, they'll, they'll arrange a pickup either through a broker or through one of the uh, online trucking load boards. Um, and they'll look for high value targets. They'll look for targets where the insurance is, is over $250,000 required. Um, once they decide they want to take a, a load like that, uh, they'll show up, they'll have all the paperwork in order, um, they'll sign the load over to them, they'll hook up, and, and they'll take off. And a couple hours to a couple days later, um, we'll find out that the load never reached its uh, in, intended um, destination. Um, by then it's too late. Uh, the phones they've used are shut down permanently. Um, the, the license plates are often stolen on the trucks. The IDs presented by the driver, if ever presented, um, also come back generally as, as fraudulent. Um, so it, it is very difficult to um, investigate those after the fact. Um, some of the things producers can do to prevent these type of thefts are um, obtaining a thumbprint from the driver who comes to pick up the load. That's probably the single most important thing they can do. Um, combining that with other documentation such as video or photo is useful, but the thumbprint can't be forged. Um, getting a good thumbprint can allow law enforcement to follow up with that driver um, and, and find out who he is. Sometimes the drivers have limited information on the scam. Uh, this is organized crime. Uh, the drivers sometimes are directly involved and sometimes they're, they're just paid to go pick up a load. Uh, they know they're doing something illegal, but they don't understand the, the breadth of it. Um, these type of thefts only make up a, a small percentage of, of all cargo thefts, uh, but we have seen these in, in the um, North State Central Valley area, uh, with most of these loads ending up in, in the LA area. Um, uh, other things to watch out for or, or precautions to take is, is to verify information. That's the most important thing you can do is verify information um, before the, the, the truck even shows up. When you're getting information from a trucking company, look up that information online, go, go on Google or search engine, look up their actual address, look up their actual phone number. Don't rely on the, the phone number they gave you because that's often a phone that goes right back to the thieves. Um, and these are prepaid uh, cell phones. They're very difficult, if not impossible, to track or follow up on once they've been shut off after the scam's conducted. Um, so, so verify information. If they say they're gonna show up in one type of a truck with one license plate and they show up in a different one, that's a red flag. Um, if, if their documents are, are a little off, that's a red flag. Uh, if the driver won't produce a uh, thumbprint, send him on his way. Why give a guy who's not willing to give his, his thumbprint like he gives to DMV to give a driver's license, you're going to give him uh, three quarters of a million dollars or half a million dollar load, um, send him on his way. Thank you, Matt. Gain the full report of today's meeting in the coming issue of Pacific Net Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.